Hi again everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to solve differential equations of a special type called separable differential equations. And there are two basic ideas. You separate the variables and you integrate both sides of the equation. So let me share my screen with you and I'll walk you through an example. Okay, so the first thing you'll see is that the font is massive. I'm trying to increase my views and um, exposure to mobile devices. So if you're watching on your phone, please let me know what your experience is, is like. Can you read the font okay? Um, and what do you think of it? All right, so let's have a look at, a, uh, at this particular problem. Now, this is a problem, special kind of problem called a separable differential equation. Now a differential equation is just an equation with an equal sign of course that has the derivative of some unknown function y in it and your, you, what you want to do is come up with the function y that depends on x that satisfies this particular problem. So let's let's just sort of read this out loud. If I'm just looking at this differential equation here, I want to find the derivative the, the, the function y whose derivative is two times x times the square root of that function. Now we have a little piece of extra information over here. This is called an initial condition, I just used IC, initial condition. This means that we know the precise value of the solution to this problem at one point. When x equals zero, the solution to this uh, differential equation, y, equals one. We can use both of these, um, these uh, bits of information to come up with a solution. Now, why is this called a separable differential equation? Firstly, you'll see that you have a function of one variable, in this case x, times a function of another variable, y. This means I can separate the x's and the y's just by uh, through, say, division or multiplication. Okay, so there are two steps for these, for these kinds of problems. First of all, we separate the variables, okay? So let's get all the y's over and the dy's on the left-hand side and all the x's and the dx's on the right-hand side. So you're going to bring that root y down there and that dx up there. So you get something like this. Okay. Now we'll talk a bit more about that step in a minute. But now what you can do is the second part of the, the, the second step in the solution method is, is to integrate both sides. So put an integral sign there, integral sign there, and on the left hand side we're integrating with respect to y and on the right hand side we're integrating with respect to x. Okay. So let's integrate over here, integrate over here and hopefully out will pop uh, our unknown function y. Okay, so if I'm integrating here, alright, so think of this as you know y, 1 on y to the half or y to the negative 1 half if I integrate the left-hand side, I'll get the following. All right, so what will happen is I'll get something like this. And if I differentiate that, I don't quite get that So because this is a power half, so I need to put in a 2 there. Over here, I just get x squared. 
Now, even though I've got two integral signs here, I only need one constant of integration. If you feel really strongly about it, though, you can put a constant of integration for that one and that one. It's up to you. Okay. So C here is a constant. Oh, let's just back off here a bit. All right. Okay, so what I can do now is say bring the two over here and I do have an expression involving y. All right, so this, is, this now is some sort of general solution because it works for every constant c. I'm not going to um, do anything else to it. What I would like to, to get now is the value of C. Now, I've used this heavily. I separated the variables and integrated, but I haven't used the initial condition yet. Okay? So let's try to get this va the value of C down here by putting this information. So when x equals 1, uh, sorry, when x equals 0, I know y equals 1. So I can replace y with 1 there and x with 0 there, and I can get c, okay? So, now, initial condition, y of 0 equals 1, yields the following. Well, let's replace uh, x with 0 and y with 1. So, all right, so what will c be? c will be? Yeah? So what I can do now is go back up to here, replace C with 2, and I've got what's called a particular solution to my problem. So, so basically a solution that satisfies that and that. Okay? All right, so... The solution is the following. Well, it's basically this with C replaced by 2. Okay, if you want to sort of pretty that up a bit, you can get the following. Okay. All right, so hopefully you can see the steps. Here. There's really only, only two, two or three steps. You recognize that the differential equation, the right-hand side, is a function of x times a function of y. You separate the variables. You get all the y's and the dy's on one side, all the x's and dx's on the other, and you integrate. Separate the variables and integrate both sides. Separate and integrate. And then you touch up if you need to find, so the constant C. Okay, now, a good question here is why does the method work? Why does the method work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's talk about that. How can I go from here to here? Okay, I've pulled that, that derivative apart, separated the differentials. Why does it work? Well, let me show you. It's basically just the chain rule for differentiation. Let me show you another way of doing this that you know if you're a bit nervous about the method I used before hopefully this sets you straight all right I'm going to bring the y down here and I'm going to leave the ddx alone okay so I've got one on root y ddy dx equals 2x okay so basically just the root y over there if I integrate both sides now, with respect to x, remember, remembering what we're assuming here was a function of x. You can see that, cancel, cancel, I then got exactly 
what I had down here. Okay? So, it's just, just using the cancellation here, the, the, um, the uh, chain rule, if you like. Okay? So, it's just a basic idea from calculus. But what's usually, I mean, you can solve the problems these ways, this, this way if you want to, but usually with these kind of problems, you separate and you integrate. Okay? All right, so I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Oh, just one more thing before I go. You know, when we're dividing, dividing here, we're obviously assuming that y, uh, the zero function, is, is not a solution. And that we can check that just by um, ruling out the zero function from this initial condition. Okay, just a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the presentation. hope you found it useful. If you have any comments or questions or feedback, are you watching on a mobile device? I want to know. Please give me some feedback if you can read everything okay. Thanks for all your support. hope you can join me for another live stream very soon. Bye, everyone.